William Thomson. William Thomson is a Scottish engineer, mathematician, physicist, and also known as Baron Kelvin. Profoundly influenced the scientific thought of his generation. Thomson, who was knighted and raised to the peerage in recognition of his work in engineering and physics was foremost among the small group of British scientists who helped to lay the foundations of modern physics. His contribution to science included a major role in the development of his, the second law of thermodynamics. The absolute temperature scale measured in kelvins. The dynamical theory of heat, the mathematical analysis of electricity and magnetism, including the basic ideas for the electromagnetic theory of light. The geophysical determination of the age of the earth, the fundamental work in hydrodynamics. His theoretical work on submarine telegraphy and his invention for the use on submarine cable added Britain in capturing the pre-emitted space place in world communication during the 19th century. Thomson's worldview was based in the part of the belief that all phenomena that cause force such as electricity, magnetism and heat were the result of invisible material in motion. This belief placed him in the forefront of those scientists who opposed the view that forces were produced by imponderable fluids. However, it also placed him in opposition to the positivistic outlook that proved to be a prelude to 20th century quantum mechanics and relativity. But Thomson's consistency in his overall view enabled him to apply a few basic ideas to the number of areas of study. He brought together disparate areas of physics, heat, thermodynamics, mechanics, hydro, dynamics, magnetic and electricity and thus played a principal role in the great and final synthesis of 19th century science, which viewed all physical change as energy related phenomena. Thomson was also the first to suggest what there were the mathematical analogies between kind of energy. Thomson's scientific work was guided by the conviction that the various theories dealing with matter and energy were converging toward one great unified theory. He pursued the goal of a unified theory even though he doubted that it was attainable in his lifetime or ever. By the middle of the 19th century, it was been shown that magnetism and electricity, electromagnetism and light were related. And Thomson had showed the by mathematical analogy that there was a relationship between hydrodynamic phenomena and an electric current flowing through wires. James Prescott Joel also claimed that there was a relationship between mechanical motion and heat and his idea became the basis for the science of thermodynamics. By 1851, Thomson was able to give the public recognition to Joule's theory along with the cautions endorsement in a major mathematical treatise on the dynamical theory of heat, Thomson's essay contained his very version of the second law of thermodynamics, which was a major step forward the unification scientific theories. Thomson's involvement 
in a controversy over the feasibility of laying a translatic cable change the course of the professional work his work on the project began in 1854 when he was asked for a theoretical explanation of the apparent delay in an electric current passing through a long cable in his reply thomson referred to his yearly paper on the uniform motion of heat in homogeneous solid bodies and its conjunction with the mathematical theory electricity 1842 thomson's idea about the mathematical analogy between heat flow and electric current worked well in his analysis of the problem of sending telegraphy message through the planned 3000 mile four that means 4800 kilometers cable this equation describing the flow of heat of, of a solid wire proved applicable to question about the velocity of a current in a cable the atlantic telegraphy company chief electric eow white house claimed that practical experience reputed thomson theoretical finding for and for a time white house view prevailed with the direction of the company despite their disagreement thomson principated yes, as chief consultant in the arduous yearly cable laying expenditure in 1858 thomson patented a telegraphy re- receiver called the mirror galvanometer for the use of atlantic cable thomson interested in science included not only electricity magnetism thermodynamics and hydrodynamics but also geographical question about tides the shape of earth atmosphere electricity thermal studies of the ground the earth's rotation and geomagnetism he also entered the controversy over charles darwin's theory of evolution thomson opposed darwin remaining on the other side of angels thomson challenged the views on geologic and biological change of the yearly conformation uniformation science including darwin who claimed that the earth and its life had evolved over an incalculable number of years during which the force of nature always operate at as present on the basis of thermodynamic theory and fourier studies thomson estimated in 1862 that more than 1 million years ago the sun's heat and the temperature of the earth must be have considerably greater than this condition of the produce violent storms and the flood and an entirely different types of vegetation thomson's speculations as the age of the earth and the sun were inaccurate but he did succeed in the pressing his contention that biological and geological theory had conformed to well established theories of physics thomson interested in c rose about yards that lala rook resulted in a number of patents a compass that was adopted by the british admiralty 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 a form of analog computer for measuring tides in a harbor and for calculating tides tables for any hours past or future a sounding equipment he established a company of manufacture this item and the number of electricity measure device he also published a textbook treatise and natural philosophy 1867 yeah work on the yeah, work on physics chapter co-authored with the scottish mathematician and physicist peter 
Gatri style that helped shape the thinking of the generation of physicists. Thomson interested in the sea, rose about the shark, the Klala Rook, resulted in a number of patients, a conference that was adopted by the British Admiralty. A form of allow computers for the measuring of tides, however, and calculating tides for any cause, past or future, and sounding equipment. He established the company of manufacture these items and numbers of electricity measuring device. He also published a textbook criticized on a philosophy 1867 a work on physics co-authored with scottish mathematician and physicist peter gathi tight that helped shape the thinking of the generation of physicists